Shalom la Bakhayarium Shal Yasha'ala. Peace to the election of the nation of Israel. Was Kahalayim la al Hayana wa Yahweh ba Hashem el Shai ba Hashem Rechakodash. All praises to our power. Yahweh ba Hashem el Shai ba Hashem Rechakodash. Yahweh being the true Almighty, powerful name of the Heavenly Father. Who the world even calls God and his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world even calls Jesus Christ. That's of course their Tahar Shemyam, are pure names, Baha Baryath in the Hebrew, Baha Lashma Kodash in the Holy Tongue, which we have returned unto us. Hebrew Israelites, which consists of so called Negroes, Latino, Latinos, and Native Americans. Of course, Baha Shem mean in the name, Racha meaning spirit, Kodash is holy, which I utter in the Paleo Hebrew. Shinya Kabad La Shalayachim Nawa was a Konyam Nawa Shalayashala. Double honor to the apostles of the Great Millstone and the elders, of course. Yeah, at Great Millstone, elders and apostles. Our right, apostles and elders, I said. Our apostles and, and our elders, that is, at Great Millstone. Wa Shalawam Wa Chasat, peace and mercy. La Bachayarium Shalayashala. To the election of the nation of Israel. Shemya Amafba. My name is Amafba. My Yan from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp. Baha Ayar. Alright. Which is Ayar is our Baha in the city of Philadelphia, PA. Coming to give with a nest letter lesson through the Rechak is the Holy Spirit. Uh, this is a continuation off of a lesson which I started. Which the lesson particularly was called, I, I believe it was called, elect the elect wisdom or the elect wisdom, in brief. And originally I wanted to go into this article, didn't, but I didn't get the time to. Or the spirit just went up speaking about wisdom, and this you know the wisdom of the elect. So I'm gonna do this actual lesson, which reads here: How RFID technology can help correction facilities, which. RFID is radio frequency identification device, also known as NFC, which is near field communication. The same technology, basically, in which the so called white man will make mandatory one day implement the RFID microchip in your body. A chip placed beneath your skin or in your actual brain. They have various forms of brain implants to help with neuro functions, you know, with the brain, which is a form of a miracle on the left hand side through the technology which the Lord gave onto Esau Edom, which is the so called white man. The Edomites, all right, are the wicked of the earth. They're the ones whom the Lord will put out, along with those that want to follow them all right to be within their heaven so without further ado we're going to get into the prophecy which is revelations 13 and 15 is that he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast which the image of the beast is the roman system should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed all right, which this whole system, all right, which we're currently in, all right, is nothing but what? Lies, all right, death, okay, um, covetousness, homosexuality, democracy, all right. You know, these are parts of the image of the beast, and a part of it you have here, you know, the technology which the so called white man wants you to have this mark of the beast all right which it reads revelation 13 and 16 and he what mean the so-called white man the elite calls all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads the mark is the RFID microchip or an NFC chip all right which is the mark of the beast which John the revelator seen in a vision all right given from obviously the most high uh on the Isle of Patmos, okay, as he was, I believe he was banished, uh, 
to uh, due to uh, what was that? He was banished from. Uh, I believe it was Hisaki. He was banished by the mission, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Um, going into that word from Mark, which is karagma, which is a etching or a thing carved within an incision. Okay, which you go into the word Mark right here, karagma in the Greek, which here it says it here, a stamp or imprinted Mark. Okay, a thing carved, sculpture, graven work, which you're not supposed to take this mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, right? And the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast, okay? It says are in their foreheads. You got neural lace, okay? And the other various forms of inventions, which they're, they have and they're creating, all right, to place within... The minds of some people, all right, who want to what improve their functions. You know, they may have physical disabilities. They put these chips in them, okay. And this is the mark of the beast. And us Israelites, so-called Negro Latinos, and the Americans, and those who are of confusion of face, those that look like the other nations, all right, but their spirit bear witness with our spirit, all right, the spirit that's written in the scriptures, all right. We're not supposed to take it. It says here, and in, in that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for as the number of a man, all right, and his number is six hundred and three score six, and you have it within it. You know, uh, you go into that whole barcode and such. UPC codes and all that you have it you know the so-called white man already has that in there okay if you can receive it now the technology in which you know the Lord he of course warned us beforehand okay to look look for this you know being coming to pass in which we're in that time in which right now at time due to uh, gradualism as the Ak, um, you know, our elders and other apostles you know been going into they have been the Edomites the elite of them been you know over time slowly bringing in this beast uh, RFID microchip all right into uh, more into uh, use Okay, for the lack of words, lock it. The beast, of course, is the native in the EU. Uh, you know, so a part of this system is this RFID microchip. Okay, NFC chip within your body. It says here, and you have it where that technology they're 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 showing it to the people and bringing it more into use. And in this particular lesson. This use is in the help for correction facilities, which this originally was inspired by Yahweh Bashim Al Shah showing me a wee uh, video online in which I seen inmates being scanned in with RFID wrist brand bands on their yeah on their wrists, in which that's just a another step closer to it actually. That technology being placed within the body, okay, which is a form of authenticating, all right, it's a form of uh, verifying your identity, which they're going to have it where if you don't have it, you don't eat, you don't buy, you don't sell, you may be a functioning part of society. It says in a correction facility, keeping each inmate safe and secure requires the population to be locked up. Typically segregating and oftentimes isolating. Realistically, how correction staff are supposed to account for each and every inmate's movement 24 hours a day while each is secure, segregated, or potentially housed in a racked unit in a one man cell? This is a question. 
recently technological tools have been implemented inside several correction facilities across the United States, which has made the tracking of inmate populations significantly easier. The evolved technology of radio identification bracelets, or RFID, okay, bracelets, has been made correction facility inmate head counts and movement tracking substantially more accurate and efficient for correction staff. Other tracking mechanisms exist, such as biometric scanning, right, which you use bi biometric is body measure, all right. It says, which they use, uh, you know, form on your body, such as, you know, retinal scanning, uh, you have it, fingerprints, voice, these are forms of biometrics. Uh, scan it, uh, but a radio identification system takes less of a bite of, of the jail facility budget, so it's more cheaper, all right, especially when applied to larger population facilities. So this is a this would be actually more efficient for jail or correction staff to keep more accurate, efficient. You say, um. Tracking of the inmates, all right. Which the RFID chip, NFC chip, this has the ability to GP. You know, as is going to explain, I'm gonna just let it sit speak. It says increase in probational sentencing and climate increase in probationary sentencing to reduce sentences and minimal security in the new and custodial work programs. With radio frequency identification tracking systems have made absolute sense. With the cost-effective price tag, it says many minimum facilities do not have perimeter fencing, leaving the ability for inmates to legally walk away if they choose. Inmates on RFID tracking system wear either a wristband or ankle band, which will send notification alarm signal back to a monitoring computer should they walk outside a radio frequency perimeter, right, out of the boundaries, right? If the system is equi equipped, a correction of staff can be fitted with a pager device or a pager-like device to wear, which will notify them if a inmate breaks the perimeter radio frequency boundary, even if they are in another area facility. So it has GP GPS abilities, all right, and it's very um, close. Uh, you would say you would say accurate in the amount of. Uh, the proximity is, you know, which we'll get into a slot here for the lack of words. It says RFID tech systems can potentially reduce inmate or on inmate violence and retaliation within a jail setting. RFIDs can cut down on wandering inmates who can roam in a jail facility, entering housing units, or prohibiting areas where they are not authorized. It would be especially useful in keeping inmates or specific inmates separated during drug unit moves or inmate transportation details or it or it says it's like it says if the system is designed to it has the ability to identify it still it still are it still are it's like you illustrate where all restricted parties are at at the simple push of a button okay so you have it that tracking all right identity being able to identify and illustrate all right visually all right where one is okay and this is all you know a left hand side blessing which the lord gave to uh esau edom which that's yahweh shimiel shai harab all right sword harab is sword in hebrew all right let me see if i can get this second test This is the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter two and nine. I don't have it on the screen. Just read along. It says, "Even him whose coming is after the working of Shatan, with all power and signs and lying wonders." Right. So you have it where part of these, uh, you know, this technology. This is this is uh, you know, a sign as as part of these signs and. And lying wonders, all right. Um, it's due, of course, the miracles in which the so called white man does do obviously his technology, which is the miracles, 
All right, which it reads in verse 10 and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And a lot of people, of course, are deceived by Shatan because they didn't there. It wasn't they wasn't chosen. All right. From the foundation of the earth to receive the salvation in Yahweh Shai. All right. To not, of course, be partakers within the second death. Okay. Let me see. Real close. Get another preset real quick. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter, I believe it's 16. Or actually, let me see. It is 16, 14, 4. They, let me see, are the spirit of devils working miracles. Let me see, Slot, give me, let me see if I can get it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to bring out Revelation chapter, let me see, 19 and 20. And it says, and the beast was taken with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him. All right, the beast obviously is uh you have it nail the EU. Okay? The beast. It says the in the false prophet that uh, you have it that's a uh, Roman Catholic church, all right? That wrought miracles before him which with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. So we're receiving the mark of the beast in your body, all right? No for the microchip all right, or in your brain, all right, wherever. Not, you know, you, of course, having a RFID chip uh, card is not taking it. It's when you have it inserted in your body, all right. That, of course, is you accepting it, okay, when it's penetrating through your skin, all right, which this, you know, this makes it plain in Revelation that, you know, as those that have received the mark of the beast and worship his image, those who are both cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone. That's a nuclear destruction. Okay. So you ain't supposed to take this chip. All right. And you're supposed to listen to this knowledge which the men of the Lord have received from the Lord. Okay. We're the mouthpiece of the Lord. This is going to be the book of Psalm chapter 33 and 10. It says, The Lord Yahweh bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the device of the people of none effect, which... You know, these. this is a device, a wicked device, a wicked thought, a plan of the so-called white man. Okay? Which the Lord is going to bring at the naught because he's going to destroy the beast. They on the EU. This whole Roman system. Okay? This conglomerate of all the empires into one. Okay? As you see the, the statues in Daniel. I mean, yeah, the statue in Daniel. Alright? We had the last, on the leg of the last leg, basically. Alright? You have it where the Lord's going to bring that counsel of the heathen to naught. Because he's going to upset that plan. Okay. Which we'll get that precept. You know we just seeing currently as they're making this system. You know more put in use. And ultimately they're going to want it put in your body. And this. Them just showing you that they're putting it on your wrist. And et cetera, et cetera. You know. This is just to warm the people up. Okay, gradualism, as the and of course, you know, our apostles and elders be speaking of. It says here RFIDs can be designed to use and bait bracelets, which are encoded with unique number aside bits specific to individual inmates. A encoded chip number coordinates with the correctional facilities booking system data record. So these have record to authenticate you, okay. Bracelets can be used to cre create it with barcodes. 
All right, we mentioned that you know the barcode is the number of the you know the, of a man, so-called white man. All right, correlates with the inmate's medical medication re order library, art right, book checkout and commissary order. Right with commissary that deals with you know money on your books to buy what items. Okay, so this this technology itself will be used in all forms of tech, all forms of society. All right, this would be the new thing. All right, into obviously doing all your various forms of transactions within this world, which they want literally people to be part of the Internet of Things. Okay, integrated within all technology, as with all these various smart devices, what you have, your TVs, your 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 smartphones, um, your various um tablets cameras okay ultimately you all right so you know pretty much you know you have the the point of where this is going i mean rfid bracelets okay in use to track inmates and Ultimately, they want it in your body to track you. The technology, the RFID microchip. All right. As small as a grain of rice. Okay. Or a brain chip. Okay. Within you. Like neural lace. There's other te forms of technology too. You just have to identify it. And through the profits, we have the understanding of these things. All right. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 18. And one, it says, He that liveth forever hath created all things in general. The Lord only is righteous, and there is none other but he. Who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. That, that includes Esau, Edom, okay? Even though he's the wicked and he's going off doing wicked. Alright. Which he's the physical counterpart for the spiritual demon Satan. Okay. Satan is controlled by the Lord. Alright. They obey the angels. Okay. Left hand, right hand. Obey the rule of Yahweh Shemuel Shah. It says, For he is the king of all. By his power dividing holy things among them that from profane. You know who's profane is Esau. Who for one morsel of meat, you know, he gave up the birthright, all right, to Jacob, which was set up through the spirit. Jacob is our forefather, all right, who, who had birthed the, the 12 tribes of Israel, which we are a part of, all right, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Verse 4 it says, To whom hath he given power to declare his works, and who shall find out his noble acts? And you know you you know who that is. That's of course the prophets, for as evident uh, for for um, the Lord revealeth nothing nothing but the uh, he revealeth his secrets unto his servants the prophets. That's in Amos. All right, you can look it up. It says uh, here, who shall number the strength of his majesty, and who shall tell out his mercy? It says, as for the wondrous works of the Lord, there may be. There may nothing be taken from them, neither may anything be put unto them, neither can the ground of them be found out. Alright, so you can't take away from this prophecy of the mark of the beast being uh, made mandatory, the RFID microchip, okay? Whether if there's a false prophet, they're saying that it's not, alright, the chip, or it's not going to happen, it is going to happen. The Lord is bound by his word, and his word doesn't come back to him void. Let me see if I can find that precept. Since I quote, I quote it.
none of these prophecies will fail. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 55 and 11. So shall my word that goeth forth of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please. And prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Let's look up that word for prosper. Prosper. You got Tazalach. Tazalach Mahabariath in the Hebrew. Which is to succeed, be profitable, to advance. Let's look up that word for advance. Okay. Okay, advance. Etymology online to improve something. For further the development of Okay Which the Lord put This technology And as you see here As time go on Gradually They're gonna make it mandatory It's being further developed on Alright It says here also events Before in front of Against Alright Something giving beforehand. All right. So I mean, you have it where. You know that things are going to, all right, advance to, what, Yahweh Bashemel Shai ultimately wants, which is this chip being made mandatory. It being given onto all the world in the many sense, all inhabitants. The elect not taking it. The wicked and all, of course, uh, you no, know, the wicked of our people, two thirds taking it, and the rest of the heathen taking it, which they're wicked too. Them being destroyed, all right, the, meaning the, the two thirds and the wicked, the elect being delivered, all right. These these prophecies are going to come to pass, all right, because the, yeah, the Lord has spoken it, and the Lord is not a man that he should lie, all right. See what's uh what else we got here. The book of let me see. I had an Isaiah and I had a Job, but for the most part, I just want to bring end it off pretty soon, which will go to the book of uh, Corinthians. All right. Remember Satan was the uh, enemy adversary of the nation of Israel. All right. I'll just go to it physically. All right, has a agenda, a plan in which he's you see, you know, he's he's moving towards that agenda being accomplished, okay? Through time, through gradualism. Zak Khazak Zakon uh uh Khazak went into with that gradualism that word. Alright, so you know basically going to process over time, you know. But going on I think it let me just go to it. I think it's second Corinthians two and ten or something like that or nine, I gotta go to. Or slack you, it might be, yeah, yeah. First Corinthians, second Corinthians 2 and 11 says, Least Shatan, which is a so called white man, should get events, uh, should get advantage over us. We are not ignorant of his devices, you know, we're not ignorant, we know about these things, we know what he's doing with the technology, we know what he's doing with the blessing, we, we, we know what the prophecies which the Lord is gonna. All right, protect his elect, even though, you know, we're going to have to endure not, of course, uh, you know, being like the world, which we're not of the world anyway. Okay, we may have to endure, of course, going through being put to death 
all right, in order to show our allegiance to Yahweh Shemeshai, not unto the so-called white man, the Edomites, all right, because the Edomites want us to basically uh, pledge our allegiance and servitude, all right, to them, all right. Which that will bring you destruction on this side if you're Israelite. Okay. This is going to be the book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and 28. It says, Though has not known. It says, Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard that the everlasting power, Yahweh, the creator of all. Uh, or says it says the creator Slaki, of the ends of the earth fainteth not, neither is weary, there is no searching of his understanding. Alright. You know, cause Yahweh Bashim El Shah, his thoughts are not our thoughts. You know, so some of y'all might think, Oh, how come you know, uh you know the Lord's doing all this thing, how come he would destroy uh, two thirds. How come he would subject, you know, uh, his people, which are uh, actually in prison houses, to even, you know, because uh, they gonna they're gonna be presented with actually having that chip put in their body. Okay, these uh, various inmates and such. All right, that's gonna come a, come a time when you know you have it where they have these RFID bracelets. They're not gonna use that anymore. They're gonna actually say, hey, this you gotta actually put in your body. Okay. Let me get a, another preset. You know, because we're in the hand of you know this uh, damn devil. So, because we're in their hands right now, we're subject unto whatever this damn devil brings forth. But it's all prophecy. Okay, you have to understand it has to come to pass. The things that are written in the scriptures have to occur. This is going to be the book of Isaiah chapter 42 and 22, which reads here. And this is speaking of the Lord's people being the Israelites. It says here, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all... Of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. For a uh, prison house, they are for a prey, and none delivereth for a spoil, and none saith restore. So you have it. One of the characteristics of the Israelites, they will be, of course, what snared in holes. You know, in these prison systems, or in the prison system, you have it. You know where I'm making the point that. They're, they're, they might be some of the first people that actually, you know, may uh, be close to getting this chip even put in their body. You know, because they already got the bracelets, okay? Because that was eye-opener, you know, in, in its own when I seen, uh, you know, the RFID bracelets, okay? And you can look it up. I ain't going to look it up right now. It's just basically a bracelet with the RFID technology on the wrist of the inmates. Okay, as they would be head counted, they of course scan the inmates, all right, their wrists with th this actual bracelet on them. But you know, as the prophecy has it, where you know, uh, they receive a mark in their right hand or left, or is the right hand or in their forehead, all right, or wherever in your body, all right, that's gonna, that's, that's gonna come to pass, all right. So the Bible is a true book. All right, to so believe so. I'm pretty much, I'm gonna I'm close out on that. You know, hopefully, you're edified. You know, call all you lie, Allah, how you know, you have a shimmer, shabbat, shimmer, kuggle, dust, and double shell, as possible. Great millstone, how RFID technology can help correction facilities. I mean, basically, they're moving towards the future, which ultimately they want to track everybody, they want to know your whereabouts, they want to know everything you do, and RFID technology. All right. All right, that advancement, which they already have, all right, the ability to put it in your body. They already been putting it in people's bodies in Sweden, in America, different places.
But it's going to be a day when it's mandatory. Alright. And this is going to be the new monetary system. And a new way of life. But if you're an Israelite, don't take the chip. Because it is the mark of the beast. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.